What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Trend. It's still Monday, August the 5th. And um, I decided to make another video. For Why not? Why not? I always got my mind just, my mind just be ticking and ticking all day. Because I'm 100% aware of everything. So... I just had this thought. I was just riding in the car and I had this thought. And I was even thinking about what I seen today when I went to the gym. When I went to the grocery store. You know, when I, if y'all see some lights flickering in the background, that's my O-ring light. Um, I think I need to get me some old batteries for it, but let it flicker. Let it create a little effect. Okay. Hope you stay on. But anyway, um, so yeah, I just I just been thinking, man, like I am convinced at this point. I am convinced that 95% of the whole people in the world is sleep and they program. I think everybody is, most people are just really, really sleep and they are programmed, man. Like I really, I really do believe that. Hold on, I gotta get some light. I gotta get some light. I gotta have that light on. But now, nah, real talk, man, I, I, I really just seen it with my own two eyes, man. The, man, people are asleep, y'all. To anybody out there who can hear me, in this world on this screen right now if you really conscious like you say you are you don't gotta be negative you don't even operate in the negative not unless you 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 get inside your human form sometimes like we all do and people just irritate you because they just so brain dead that it just bothers you because you see so many people that are just brain dead. You got trolls who feel powerful without showing a face nowadays. You got people who are using the, 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 the dumbed down emojis that they gave us to create our expressions. You got people getting off on using emojis now. Like, this is how they got people, man. This is, they, they got people right where they want, right where they want them to be, y'all. Right where they want them to be. And that is voiceless, useless, brainless, and completely dependent and reliant on the system around them. I would say they plan is 98%, almost 100% complete. Whatever they've been working on, because they've been working on it. Indoctrination, propaganda, programming, brainwashing, controlling people's emotions. I would say the plan is damn near almost complete. I mean, it will take Jesus Christ himself to come back and save save people nowadays. It ain't really nothing else that you can do for people no more, man. Everybody is so far gone. So far gone. I get on here on YouTube to express my opinions, which are mostly just thoughts that I'm thinking that I'm, even if I was by myself, these are the thoughts that I would be thinking even if I'm by myself. Just like how you would be thinking if you was by yourself, those would be the thoughts that you were thinking if you were sitting on a camera like me telling you or telling me your thoughts. I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm just telling my thoughts. Do I know more than you? No. Am I more wiser than you? Nah, probably not. Do I know you personally? 
Not really, no. But is this my opinions and my thoughts? Yes. And I just like to I just like to get on here and tell my point of view on things. And don't you know it is it, it, I literally got people out there who listen to me and still don't like my thoughts. I just this is how I know not the not the not you, but I'm talking about other people, but this is how I know that whatever they've been working on in Area 51 or the elites or whoever they is, whatever they've been working on, it's working. Because everybody's program, everybody's program like computers are programmed by computer programmers. They, people can only do what they believe that they can do. People don't even believe no more. They don't believe and they don't have, a, most people don't believe they have a voice no more. Most people, most people don't believe that they can come together anymore. Most people believe that they can't, they can connect no more. Everybody has just given up. Everybody's tapped out. Except for a small percentage of people out there. Most people have just tapped out. They don't lost all hope. Most people don't gave all they, they belief into the conspiracies. It's a conspiracy. Everything is a conspiracy. It's all a conspiracy. I don't want to think about it. It was not real. That was not real. I don't want to think about it. That wasn't true. Nope, that's not true. That's fake. Everything has become fake to everybody. That's the world we live in nowadays. And... A lot of it got to do with these cell phones. Today, I was just having a non-cell phone day. Today, I haven't been on my cell phone more than two hours, I would say. I probably only been on my cell phone. If I had, if I had, if Apple Watch could calculate, I probably, it probably should tell me how long I've been on my Apple phone. I've probably been on my phone more than two hours today because I've been doing an experiment all day today to try to stay away from my phone. And folks, listen, start doing this with me, please. Try to see how long you can just actually live your everyday normal lifestyle without getting on your phone. Just try it with me. Even though I'm not gonna be around, you can't see me all the time. Just try it with me, man. Just trust me, it's helpful. It's beneficial to your mind, okay? Because everybody is trapped in them cell phones nowadays, man. I was getting some Chipotle today, man. I was in line of Chipotle with men, girls. It was a police officer, two, two customers up. Whole line wrapped in Chipotle, man. I'm just looking at everybody. Everybody was on their cell phone, man, including the police while they was waiting on their Chipotle little rice bowls and tacos. Everybody. And I'm looking around in a restaurant. The only people who I didn't see was on cell phone was this white girl. She looked like she was like watching kids. Like she was watching. She was a nanny. She had like three little girls. They looked so cute. And she was. She looked at me too. The girl, the, the babysitter, like she was a babysitter. The babysitter looked at me and was, I was looking at her. And it's kind of like we was looking at each other like, we the only ones alive, ain't we? And I kind of was looking at her like, yep, yep. Because... It's just so obvious, man. You just see everybody in their cell phones, like, waiting in a Chipotle line, bro. Do y'all understand what I'm saying right here, man? People are programmed. They gone. They sleep. They not here. They in the phone. Their mind is in the phone. So I'm just looking at this shit around me. I'm just like, dang, man, these people, they can't even look up. Like, people can't even look up and be like, look around. If somebody was coming to do a shootout at the damn Chipotle or some terrorist or something like that was to pull up at the damn Chipotle with a, with stuff strapped around them, won't nobody know nothing because ain't nobody paying attention to nobody. Won't nobody know nothing. I see why so many senseless violent activities ha happen. I see why so many senseless acts of violence happens nowadays. You know why it's happening? 
It ain't because the world is becoming a bad place or worse place. It's just that ain't nobody aware no more. Ain't nobody watching no more because everybody looking at their phones. Man, you got girls out here walking dogs at, at nighttime on their phone. They ain't even looking that the, the dog needs some help or nothing. They just on their phone texting their boyfriend or whoever, man, walking the dog in, in dark time. Ain't looking around to see if any predators out there, nothing. Any stalkers out there ain't aware of their surroundings or nothing. Man, I don't know what to tell you, man. As much as I make these YouTube videos, sometimes I be feeling like, what am I doing it for? Who am I doing it for? Is the message getting out there? I, I, I really don't even know what I'll be. I don't even know what to do no more. Dang, man. It's crazy how many people are just unaware. And, and, and folks, here's the thing about it. I don't even think they're going to even ever be awake. I don't even think people ever going to be awake. At all, period. I don't think it's going to happen. Like I said, if you ask me, it would have to take a damn nuclear bomb to drop tomorrow for these people to start actually thinking again. Like, oh, this ain't no script. It ain't scripted. Oh, it ain't a conspiracy. It, a damn, I, I think a damn, I, I think the whole damn, uh, I think the nuclear war will have to start in order for some of these bots to wake up. Uh, for real. That's what it's going to have to take. Because everybody don't believe that we living in what is eventually soon to come a damn third world country. Because don't nobody function right no more. Don't nobody think properly no more. Don't nobody critical think no more. Nothing. You go in Barnes and Noble's bookstores, you only see five people in there. Ain't nobody read no more. You know why? Because they got social media. They got Google. They got Google. I just went to the store just, what, like an hour ago, went in there. I went to the magazine section because I like to go to the magazine section, see what they got, you know. New Gun Magazine, New Hunting Magazine, New new Arizona Magazine. I bought a UFO magazine. Shouts out to all my people that call UFOs, Fallen Angels, and you ain't even never even seen it in real life. You just going off of what he say, she say, they say, she say, he say, they 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 say, she say, he say, they say, he say, he say, he say. Don't even know what that what you be talking about. Ain't even never some of y'all be out there claiming fallen angel. So y'all ain't even never even seen a real angel. Some of y'all ain't even never seen a real angel in real life. Some of y'all ain't even never seen a fallen angel in real life. I, you know why? Cause I even had I had it. Some of y'all ain't even worthy enough to even see an angel. But let me take that back. Some of y'all probably have seen fallen angels with that negative spirit you be carrying around about all this. With this fear mongering. Oh, it's fear. That, that's the devil. See, that's why I be saying so. People people walk around call themselves godly and stuff and spiritual, but they quick to give the devil the credit. Don't y'all notice that with some of y'all friends and people that you kick it with? People people swear they so holier than thou. They swear they so about God. But don't they always love to give the devil the credit? You can tell somebody, hey, man, it's bro. Let's go do something this weekend, man. Let's go have a good time. Let's go out. Ah, man, it's going to rain this weekend. It's going to be a thunderstorm. You know that storm coming up here from Florida. Yeah, that storm is blowing the hard. It's coming fast. I don't think I'm going to go out this weekend. It's, it ain't even got nowhere near the weekend yet. It's Monday. They already kind of counsel their plan. So, so many people are quick to just give the devil credit, bro. It just irks me. And and not only that, listen, they think it's cute. Like, like you got people that have really started to believe, oh, it's cute. Like, to for me to just, it's cute. It's cute. It sounds smart. You sound dumb. Sound dumb. All this, all this supernatural stuff that's happening in the world. I see supernatural stuff happen all the time. You think I'm going to sit up here and say, oh, it's, it's the witchcraft. 
is the devil's work. Satan, Satan, all hell, Satan. Because I see something supernatural. I see the hearts form a cloud formation. I mean, the, a cloud form a heart formation. Oh, that's the devil. Oh, glory to, glory to Satan. I'm going to say, look at that up there. Look at that in the sky. Look at that what God did. He made a heart for you and me. You know, you got some people like, no, you believe in that. That You believe in the clouds forming. You know that sun. They, they making that stuff and doing that stuff like that. Yeah, but they can't control everything. God is still in control. I see why when Jesus was on the earth. Well, you see, some people going to say he wasn't even on the earth. It can't, you, no matter what you do with these people, you can't win. Everything is not real to them. Everything is, 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 everything is like scripted or something. When Jesus was walking the earth, I see why nobody really believed that he was doing the miracles that he believed. They was all just like people that we have today. They all in their cell phones. They only believe what they see on social media and what the news tell them. That's it. Fake news. They only believe what fake news tell them. But if it was man that came and he was walking on water, and if it was man that came and he was healing people and making them see again if they was blind, and if it was a man that came and it was raising people from the dead, if there was a man on earth like that today, you know what they'll call him? The Antichrist. He'll be the Antichrist. And that's where we had it. That's where we had it. If you ask me, because people just don't believe no more. They don't believe they can even have create. They some people don't even believe they can even catch a miracle from God no more tomorrow. They can get a miracle. They can get a big breakthrough. They can get a blessing because they too programmed. They too brainwashed into believing in whatever they tell them to believe in. It ain't television. See, they know we don't watch TV no more, y'all. They know we don't watch TV no more. So it ain't television programming now. It's cell phone programming. It's totally, they don't upgrade it from the TV. The TV ain't the TV no more. It's the phone. It's the TV. Since they couldn't get you to watch the TV no more, they got the phone for you. Now, this, look how many people program to watch their phones now. Not me. I can do I can do all things through Christ who straightens me without a phone. But anyway, man, I ain't gonna rant all night. About to get in here and eat my dinner and stream on my gaming channel tonight. I'm gonna be on my gaming channel tonight, folks. Call of Duty. Shouts out to my fellas out there that want to get on. I know buddy hit me up earlier like, "Am I gonna get on tonight?" Yeah, man. Uh, my my username on PlayStation Five is Trend Letter G. X as an X-ray and a number three. Trend G X3. Trend G X3. Uh my channel is Trend G Shot Ya. Trend G Shot Ya on YouTube. If you want to watch me stream tonight, if you want to stream with me, I'm creating a lobby in about like uh in about I'll give it an hour and a half. Alright, from uploading this video. Thank y'all so much, man. Do me a favor, y'all, please. Tomorrow. Try to not watch, try to not get on your phone as much and try to make it a habit to not get on your phone as much, okay? Because you're going to see what I'm talking about. Everybody around y'all is programmed. They gone, y'all. They immersed into the matrix web of the cell phone. Don't let that be you. Stay alive. Stay woke. Stay breathing. Stay in nature. Stay healthy. It's your big bro, Trim, man. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.